Welcome to Videorial CD007, Corel Draw X5 Basics, creating artwork for a letterhead part 7. Okay, in this video reel we're going to um, export an image that can be used to create a template document for a business letter uh, in Microsoft Word or, or any other word processing program for that matter. So I'll start by opening up the uh, previous artwork. Part 7 uh, is the one that we're going to be working on this video reel. So file, save as part seven okay done now I'm quite happy with the artwork here I don't really want to touch it so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna come down here I'm gonna create a copy of this page with an, and everything on it so I'm gonna right mouse click just where this tab is here I'm gonna go duplicate page and I want to copy layers and their contents okay I've got an exact copy um, now the image that needs to be imported into a word processor it needs to be exactly the same size as the page with which you're working. Um, obviously, if you're American, you'll be working to maybe a different uh, page size, letter, for example. We're going to be creating it um, in A4. Okay? So my image that I export from CorelDRAW has to be A4. Now, at the moment, when I select everything, it isn't. Um, and that's mainly to do with these little marks here, which we don't need anymore. So I'm going to delete them. They're still there on page one, but on page two, we don't need them. Um, the other thing is that we need to trim off this two millimeters of edge down the side. Okay, so what I'm going to do is drag some more guides in. That one I'm going to position at zero, zero. This one needs to come to 297. We need to put another guide in at zero. We're basically putting a guide right around the exact periphery of the page. This one goes at zero and we should have another one at 210. So a guideline on the edge of the actual page itself. Now what we're going to do is go go through and make sure that we trim off the edges from all of the objects within the artwork. Okay, so remember what we did. So it's uh, draw an object, then hit shift, select oh notice that it it doesn't like that and that's because this object is still grouped break drop shadow apart okay so you must remember to do that trim now this one trim 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 now this one we can just shift down but this one we're going to need to trim now the reason why I can't trim the black and the white one is because they've got a curve on them if I if I just change the size of something with a curve it will change the actual curve itself so trim trim Just position it much the same as we did in the other early video reels where we're trimming the edge. Trim. It takes a bit of time, but it's worth it. Trim. Trim. Is there any more? I think there might be one more. Trim. Done. Now, if we select that entire group. It should now equal 210 and it should be positioned at 297. Perfect. Okay. Now I'll do the same down here. Draw my rectangle. Again, I'll just make sure that the objects are not grouped in any way. Arrange. No. So select, shift, select, trim. Perfect. Now again, this one, because it's square or hasn't got a curve, I can just change the size of that. But again, because the black and white objects have a curve, I can't just change them by using the, the little dongly things on the side because it will change the curve. Trim. Trim. 
trim. Now you might find that the actual drop shadow changes a little. It's not the end of the world if it does. Trim. 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 Okay. I think that's it. If we just select it, it should be 210 wide, which it is, and it should be positioned at 0, 0. Perfect. So we've got the proportions okay. Now, with regard to the business letter setting it up its, uh, in, in a word processor, quite often within a business you will have um, envelopes with a window in. It saves a lot of time and money. Uh, and also looks very professional. Um, so if you can, and this is what I'm going to suggest you do, you find a letterhead, uh, sorry, an envelope size that suits you, um, and you find a website with all the dimensions on it, because you need to put the name and address on a business letter in the perfect position um, so that it shows up in the window. And that is basically what this, this is about. So what I did was I found out what envelopes I would be using, in this case, it's, um, I went to www.envelopeprinting.com. You can see the address at the top. It depends on the envelope you're choosing. Now, I chose this one. Let me just zoom in. 45 by 90. But the actual, the actual envelope size is 110 by 220 millimeters. So I'm going to create the envelope size itself just to get an idea. So 220 by 110, I don't want it to be proportional, so 220 by 110, that's the size of the envelope, okay, it looks, yep, looks about right, and I need to position that at minus 5, now remember, this is just for, purely for visual, notice that the, uh, the point, the reference point within the object is the bottom left hand corner, so minus 5 and 192.5 from the top. That positions it perfectly. So when you're looking at the envelope, this is how the letter will look inside the envelope. Now we just need to create the window. Now the window is, I'm going to choose this option, 45 by 90. So it's 90 by 45 and it's positioned uh, 20 in and 20, 20 in from the bottom, 20 in from the left. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to select the, the window, then hit shift, select um, the envelope. I'm going to go to align, bottom, left. Remember the object that you select second is the object that you align to. Apply, close. Now, I just want to move that in from the left by 20. So relative to position, bottom left hand corner, 20 and then 20. So it's going to move it 20 up, 20 across to the right. Perfect. Okay. Now hopefully, when I undo that, that should be bottom left, 15 in from the left, 212.5 from the bottom here, up to the top. Okay. That's it. So that's what the envelope is going to look like with the letter inside it. So this area here is where the address needs to go. So we need to put something in there that we can um, use as a reference within the word processing file to position the, the address. Okay, so I'm just going to apply a bit of colour. In fact, what I'll do is I'll use this technique where we use the eyedropper. There we go. I think what I'll do is I'll just make, because usually these windows are, are radiused. I'm just going to put a little radius, uh, let's say three millimetres. Okay, I'll turn the line off, and I'm just going to delete, well I won't delete the, the um, well no, I'm going to delete the envelope. So there we go, there we have a mock-up of our letter that we can then import into a word processor. So the final thing we've got to do is actually just select all the um, objects, it should all be a 210 by 297, and we're going to go File, Export for web. And we're going to choose um, ping 24-bit. 
and we're going to choose millimeters. Okay, so it should be 210 by 297. Oops, 297. Okay, so 210 by 297. Okay, and then we just hit save as. Um, the resolution here, mine's set to 300. Now remember, you're only going to be importing this this picture right at the beginning of the uh, the word processing file when you're setting it up. You would then delete it, and from then on, you just keep updating the same file. Um, so by importing a large image like this, it's not going to make any difference. Um, let's just make sure we've got any of the other. See, we don't need it to be a transparency. Let's just zoom out. Let's have a look at what we're doing here. There we go. That's what it's going to look like. Okay. So we'll just hit save as. So we've changed the size. We've unticked transparency. Ping for me is uh, by far the best compression format for images. Um, doesn't give you the best compression, but it does give you the best quality images. So save as. Now I'm going to go to the desktop, save it in the letterhead folder. I'm going to call it letter mock-up, oops, letter mock-up, and hit save. Right, now that's pretty much it. Let's go into the folder and have a look at the actual picture. There we go. That's what we're going to be able to import into our Word document or whatever word processor you're using and use it to position the text within the letter. So we'd put the date here, the address, and then the main body of the letter goes here. Um, I'll be dealing with that in, a, in another video reel for Microsoft Word, um, W07008. So if you want to find out how to create the letter template that's going to be used with the pre-printed stationery, then check out that video reel. Um, that's it. Thank you for watching.